<laughs> Third gear power wheelie, holy shit. <laughs> Oh, I love it so. I know what you're saying. Wait a minute. We've been riding a Ponagali for a year. How could this possibly be the first ride? Well, all the videos to date have been on my 1199 Ponagali, which is no longer mine. I traded it in on this, which is a 1299 S. 1299 Panigale S. The newest of the hotness. Almost as ridiculous as they are, but not quite. Uh, new to me. This is not a brand new bike, but it's only got a thousand miles on it, so it may as well be. Ah. So, we're going to go for a little ride and uh, see what I think of it. So far, I have to say, and I just rode the 1199 not that long ago, um, it's much more direct. It's much more race car. It's much more, you feel everything. The Panigale had a bit of, you know, I know it's hilarious to say this, but the Panigale, 1199 Panigale, the base, which is what I had, had a bit of softness in it. This does not have softness. This is a straight up hardcore race bike. Um, yeah, it, it has no softness at all. And it has a bunch of other interesting things like these, active suspension management, uh, there's yet another computer to control, actually it's the same computer, but yet another bit of software to control all of the shocks, the uh, forks, the shock, damping, and also the, uh, oh, cool. Ah, fuck! Fuck you! Motherfucking asshole! Goddamn, almost kill me because you don't know what a fucking turning lane is, you fucking idiot. God damn. Anyway, uh, yeah, so all the suspension on this bike, right up to the steering damper, is managed by the computer and in a dynamic way. So as you corner the bike more, as you're on the brakes, as you're giving it the means, it is doing many things to all the suspension settings, so you don't have to. And I gotta say, that's one thing I'm fucking on top of already. I love that shit. I've always said, I like technology when it helps, you know, when it's not replacing skill. And yes, you could say there's a certain skill to, you know, changing all your suspension settings and getting them all dialed in for the track. And that's great, you can do that on this bike too. You just put it in manual mode and set up whatever you want. But for riding on the street, the conditions change so much, having a computer do it is just better. It's like having EFI when you're riding at different altitudes is just better than a car, but it just is. Um, so I lo I'm loving that. Um, what else do I love? There are a few new things I'm not sure about yet, like uh, Ducati Quick Shift, which is the clutchless shifting. You just bang on the shifter. First, I gotta say, it works much better than it did on the 1199. You touch, I mean, you, you show the shifter a picture of your foot, and bang, you're in the next gear. Uh, and I'm not getting any false neutrals so far that I used to get every so often when I'm kind of pussyfooted uh, on the 1199. So that works much better. Uh, a new thing, however, it is also does clutchless downshifts. So if I just close the throttle here, watch that. I'm not going to touch the clutch. Watch this. It just flips it automatically, just the right amount of throttle, and the gear goes right and you don't touch the clutch for up or down. I'm not sure I like that yet. I like it up. I don't know about down because I like doing this. I like giving it a little blip, having a little, having a little fun with it. Um, that being said, not having to change your, your right hand, not having to alter your brake pressure when you're going into a corner, I can see they, they're, why they did it. And um, yeah, the verdict's still out on that. Other stuff, uh, this bike has ABS, my other one didn't. I spent like 20 minutes going through all the menus to set everything up the way I think I want it. Uh, which is a little bit of ABS, a little bit of wheelie control on, in uh, in uh, street mode, in sport mode, which is what it's in now. But absolutely nothing in race. So it's like a 916 with twice the horsepower in race. Um, another thing that I noticed right away is how fucking light this thing is. 
Uh, it's only uh, 360 odd pounds, which is about 40 pounds less than the 1199 base. And you feel that immediately. In some ways, not in a wonderful way, because whereas the 1199, the first gripe I have about this bike is the mirrors. I fucking hate the mirrors, and I'll tell you why. The 1199 had these wonderful mirrors, they were great to see, and you could fold them in, and they didn't vibrate, they were great. These things are made of, like, billet dust. I mean, they are they weigh about half an ounce. They weigh nothing. It's one of the places they said, okay, we'll save a few ounces of weight here, but I actually broke this fucking mirror off not hitting it hard, I just brushed against it while I was getting it out of the van when I brought it home. And snap, off it comes. And they're a hundred bucks each. So that fucking sucks. Um, I don't like the mirrors. I'm probably going to change the mirrors to ones that fold because one thing I really liked about the uh, 1199 were the mirrors. The 1299S mirrors, not a fan. Another thing that's annoying is... Uh, I was just mentioning the uh, active suspension, well, it has these big actuators on the rear shock, which is not in line, like on most bikes, it's off to the side, for packaging reasons. Um, and the cables, the little, the little connector thingy, when you're pushing the bike around, when you're not riding it, does do quite a number on the inside of your thigh. Um, I don't know what it is, both the bikes I bought lately, the KTM Super Duke and this, do not like the insides of my thighs. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but... Whatever. So, here's clutchless downshift, clutchless downshift, clutchless, yeah, it just does it. So, I kind of miss, yeah, I like doing it manually more. It's one of those things where I'm sure it's a lot faster to do it with the computer. You just bang on the thing and you're there. But I like doing it manually. So, but upshifts. Yeah. <laughs> it's also faster too, I think, the upshift. I mean, not like it was slow on the 1199, but these things, you know, it's probably 50 milliseconds or less. It's uh, next to nothing. You do know it's shifting, it's not gaffless, but yeah, it takes no time at all. Uh, it's running much cooler than my 11, uh, 1199 did. Of course, that's probably just because it's 60 degrees right now outside and not 90. And, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, the biggest difference so far that I'm noticing absolutely everywhere is the weight. Uh, the brakes pretty much feel the same. Uh, yeah. Oh, and it is faster. I mean, the 1199 was pretty goddamn far from anything anyone sane would call slow. <clears throat> but this thing feels like it's got another, oh, 10 horsepower, I want to say. Of course, a big part of that is probably just the weight. So whatever. Uh, I got a fucking boat anchor in front of me. I mean, it's nice that you're bringing your boat anchor out to the twisties, but I can't imagine why you would do that. I need a slight bit of straightness to fasten. Oop. What are you doing, dude? All right, screw it. Enough of that. I don't know if he was trying to move over to let me buy or what, but definitely didn't look like it, because then he started veering into me. Frickin' boat anchors. Yeah. It's a lot more dramatic if I downshift myself, but I like it more. Brakes are, uh, they're the same brakes, so they shouldn't really feel any different, but they are a little bit more touchy. I don't know if that's just because the bike's a bit newer or different pads, who knows. But.
Oh god, those brakes are brutal. The one thing about the ABS, you know, I kept saying, I don't like ABS, I don't like ABS, and for many things I still don't. But it is nice to be able to really mash on the binders and know you're not going to stoppy the thing or lock up the front. So, I'm braking quite a bit later in the corners than I used to. I can tell that right away. Okay, yeah, it's uh, interesting, the down, auto downshifts. I can stay on the brakes and really leave the braking until really late. And just, I don't have to think about, yeah, I, I like doing it manually, but if I do that, I'm not on the brakes. I just realized, all right, it's a lot harder to be on the brakes while you're rev matching. So, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I still hate it on the car. I still hate fluffy pedals, and I always will, because I have feet for that, but... On this thing, going this fast, it makes a good bit of sense. Yeah, it reduces workload, is what it does. I mean, I don't really think about flipping and rev matching, but it's just... I don't have to think about shit now, just think about the road, think about braking distance, and that's pretty much it. One thing I gotta say, that's pretty damn impressive. Uh, well, yeah, it is impressive, but I was gonna say very different. Uh, even in full race mode, in, in like full power, high attack, kill, barg mode, it's 1199. The throttle was nowhere near as sensitive as it is on the 1299S. So there's got to be different software at play here. Because this thing, I mean, you sneeze on it, and front wheel wants us to come up. Which is cool. From a, Jesus, fuck this bike is fast standpoint. God, this thing is so frickin' fast. Frickin' time warp. You get so much tunnel vision so quickly on this thing. Key example there of where I w wouldn't have done a downshift if not for the computer. Hard to see with the sun in my eyes there. Okay. Did a very unintended wheelie there. Again, I'm getting into a habit of limp wristing the uh, shifter. 
or limp wristing, limp footing in a shifter. Gotta wash that. Same thing, god damn, I gotta change these rear sets. So, let's, uh, let's sum up, compared to the, uh, <coughs> little Vera Von Grohl there, compared to the, um, 1199, how is it? Well, it's not like the 1199 is in any way bad. Uh, it remains the best sport bike I had ever ridden until this one. Um, Everything on the 1299 is just a little bit better, a little bit faster, a little bit more ridiculous, a little bit more refined. And uh, the S is the biggest difference. Um, the, the difference in weight is the biggest, most dramatic thing, uh, which isn't surprising. Take weight off a bike, you're going to make everything better. Um, and this thing is massively lighter than the 1199 base, and it feels like it. And the other big thing is the technology. It's just more refined, um, easier to deal with. Uh, aside from the fact I started, uh, you know, pussyfooting the shifter and getting some false neutrals again, that's more me than the bike. Uh, the shifter and the quick, the kind of quick shift is massively improved. I just need to change the rear set so they fit me better because it's set up for someone who is vertically challenged and I'm 6'5", so yeah, that's, that's me, not the bike. Um, the other stuff, uh, well, what can I say? I mean, it handles amazingly. Uh, it is as comfortable as the 1199 was, which is to say, well, to be fair, for a sport bike, pretty damn comfortable. I mean, my butt doesn't hurt, my legs don't hurt, uh, my hands are numb, but that's par for the course. Again, that's me, not the bike. Uh, so the ergonomics are quite good. Um, And yeah, all in all, it's basically just a, a an evolution of the Fonagali with as much technology that is possible today. And that's kind of funny because this bike's only three years newer than my Fonagali, but, or the 1199 Fonagali. But that just goes to show you how fast shit changes and improves. Because this thing is damn good. I'm going to do a more direct comparison with the 1199 uh, in another video, but uh, that should sum things up pretty nicely for uh, the first ride of the 1299S. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I, I certainly do appreciate it. And uh, it serves as kind of a carrot to get me out here doing more videos. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe and I'll do more. Also, feel free to share the video on uh, Twitter, Facebook, etc. if you want to. And if you want to leave me a comment, uh, go right ahead. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm behind two people who are slower than fucking... What are you even doing? Okay, you were in the left-hand lane, and you suddenly realized you need to turn right, so you just barrel across three fucking lanes of traffic. Good gravy. <laughs>